Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up MAME high scores in LaunchBox and BigBox. Now, this is actually really simple to do. And just to give you an idea here, if I go to, let's say, 1943, which I'm using with MAME under my arcade section, over here we can see we've got our high scores. These high scores are from other users over on the LaunchBox Games database, and in order for this to work, you will need to create one of those accounts. It's free to do, and I'll leave a link to this page here in the description. You're going to go to My Account, and from here you can register, or if you've already got a LaunchBox Games database account, you can sign in from here, but this is separate from the LaunchBox Forum account, so you will need to create one of these. Let's go ahead and take a look at these high score sections. We'll just choose 1942 from here. We'll go to High Scores. And as you can see, we've got the weekly community leaderboard. This is updated weekly. We've got the monthly community leaderboard, yearly, and all time. So, you know, if your score is good enough, you can get up here in the all time. Or if you just want to keep on it every week, you can try to beat everybody else's score. So like I mentioned, setting this up is quite easy. There's actually two ways to go about it. Now, if you don't already have your MAME games imported with the MAME full set importer inside a launch box, you can do it while you're importing your game. So we're going to head up to tools here import, we have the MAME Arcade Full Set Importer. I've done a full tutorial on this. It's going to walk you through it. I'm just going to browse where my games are located. I'm going to choose my MAME version or my ROM set version. We can automatically download MAME and configure it for the correct version. And the next step here would be to configure the LaunchBox high score leaderboards. We can enable it from here, but first we need to connect to the LaunchBox Games database. And this is where we're going to put in our account information for the LaunchBox Games database. So you go ahead and sign in here. We'll choose Enable LaunchBox high score leaderboards. Follow the rest of the prompts. You'll import all of your main games and you're good to go there. If you've already imported your main games, there's another way to go about this. I'm going to go to the hamburger menu. We'll go to Cloud, and we'll connect to the LaunchBox Games database. Again, you'll just have to sign in with your account here. I'm going to do it real quick off screen. And once you're signed in, it'll let you know you successfully connected to the LaunchBox Games database. It'll ask you if you want to sync your collection to the database. This is totally optional. It has nothing to do with the high scores. So we're signed in there, but there's one last thing we need to do. We're going to go to Tools, Options, and from Integrations, we're going to find MAME. So Integrations. MAME, and you want to make sure this is checked. Upload your MAME high scores to the LaunchBox Games Database Community Leaderboards. It's not on by default, and if this is left unchecked, then your scores just won't upload. And now I'm connected to the LaunchBox Games Database, and I can view the MAME high scores. So there's some more options here. If we right-click on a game, find something that supports high scores. So if I right-click on, let's say, Arrow Fighters 2, we have a new option, View High Score Leaderboards. So we're going to bring this up. As you can see, Razorbyte Ray is in number one here for the weekly score. We've got monthly, yearly, all time, and at the very bottom here, this is kind of important. There are different MAME versions of a game. There's different versions of that same game for MAME. Right here is going to show you the supported version. If you get a high score in the default version of Aero Fighters 2, because that's the game we're on, that's what your high score is going to be tied to. If this game had a different version, then it would be a completely different leaderboard, and you can use the drop-down here to check that. It's very important because not all versions are supported. There are some hack versions out there, you know, ones with cheats already enabled and things like that. But for the most part, you should be able to check it from the drop-down here, just to see if there's another version that's not supported. But this one here is supported. It's the default Arrow Fighters 2. Just keep that in mind. There are a few other things to consider. If you're using cheats with MAME, your high score just isn't going to show up in the high score leaderboard. You can find out more information from the Tools drop-down. We're going to go to Options. We'll find Integrations from here. MAME. And this will give us some more information on that. I would highly recommend just go ahead and read through everything. But one important one is if you have autosave enabled in your MAME configuration, MAME will not save the high score upon exit. Autosave is not enabled by default, but some people might want to turn this on. And just keep in mind, if you do have autosave on, it's not going to submit your high score. Again, if you have cheats enabled with MAME, it's not going to submit your high score. There's a few other things to go through, so I'd highly recommend reading through this under Integrations, MAME. 
So it's easy enough to view the leaderboards from within LaunchBox. Over here on each game, we have high scores, or if we want to right click, we can view the high score leaderboard from here. What about Big Box? Well, I'm going to go ahead and move over there real quick. So what I've got going on right now is just the default Big Box theme. We're going to head into our arcade section and we'll find a game here. We'll just go with 4D Warriors. From the menu, you can see we have View High Scores, and from here, we can view the high scores just like we did inside of LaunchBox. It's just as easy to do so inside of BigBox. And again, if you have all of this enabled, it's going to transfer over to BigBox, and it will submit your high score as long as you follow the rules and have everything set up correctly. And from within BigBox, there's actually another way to check out the leaderboards, and that's from the pause menu. So if we go into a game, start this up real quick. So now that I'm inside of a game, I'm just going to press the hotkeys I've set up for my big box and launch box pause screens. And as you can see, we've got the view high score section right here. So you can view this basically at any time from within big box or while playing a game from the pause screens. Really easy to get to. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching. And like you saw, it's really easy to enable this. It's just another community feature that we've added, but you need that LaunchBox Games Database account in order to participate. If you don't already have a LaunchBox Games Database account, link for that is in the description. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching. <laughs>